Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we have another astrology flow. Today's class is going to be Virgo flow and Virgo is a magnificent sign. It is the completion of the first half of the zodiac, of the first half of the chart. So it's the, the sixth sign. With Virgo we complete the development of the personality, which happens within the first six signs. And Virgo is the Virgin Mother, ruled by Mercury and on soul level by the Moon. So it's a very mothering sign. It's the gestation period for the birth of the soul. So in Virgo, we become the womb that is um, nurturing and about to birth the soul. So here we have the completion of the personality. And in the next six signs, we're just going to see the development of the soul. Virgo is very detail-oriented, very much about cleanliness, precision, uh, perfection, purity. And that is so that the soul can come into the physical body. Because you need to refine the soul, or the, excuse me, you need to refine the physical tool in order to be able to host the soul or to host something of higher frequencies. So that's why Virgo is so um, into refining that. Virgo is the second and the mutable of the earth signs. So here we have a continuation of uh, working with the form that started in Taurus. In Virgo, we have working with the form, perfecting the form, analyzing, critical thinking, uh, Virgo qualities really, but also with the soul ruler being the moon, we have um, true nurturing, a little different from the cancer nurturing, true spiritual nurturing that is not as obvious as it is with cancer. Now, cancer rules uh, <laughs> eating, and with Virgo, here is assimilation, digestion and assimilation. So also assimilation of ideas on a more spiritual level also is in Virgo. On a more physical level, on a more um, mundane level, Virgo really works with a lot of mental stuff, a lot of thinking and analyzing a little more critical thinking than spiritual because after all Virgo is the opposite of Pisces. In Pisces we have chaos and really immersing ourselves in the whole, losing ourselves in the whole, becoming one with all. With Virgo we have precision and detail, the opposite of chaos, organizing matter form so that we can birth the soul. Uh, it's an interesting concept in Virgo. We're going to focus on precision. I have North Node in Virgo, Saturn in Virgo. So you have experienced a lot of Virgo side of yoga, in, especially in my first yoga classes when we focused on a lot of detail, a lot of alignment, uh, just the nitty gritty of yoga. Also have a lot of Pisces in me, so you can uh, access through me the Piscean aspects of yoga, which is the more spiritual, the more fluid. Uh, the more creative and that is an example how we all have all aspects within us now another aspect that's very obvious that you notice in my classes and you've experienced that sign in my classes is of course and no uh, <laughs> no surprise here aries which is my son because with the sun you get that pure energy working out and just that more dynamic aspect of yoga and even moving and just being simple in the head without the many details but feeling the body and then with my capricorn moon <laughs> just another example of what you experience in my classes and you experience all uh, 12 signs of course with the Capricorn Moon, we have a lot of more grounding elements and so forth. So you see those are almost opposite energies, but they can all work together in one. And regardless of what your sun sign is in, you can do all these classes and you can definitely also do them during the moon phases. So today we're going to focus on a little more detail and we're going to contemplate purity. Purity on whatever level you want to tune into and contemplate it and of course assimilation because Virgo is the spiritual womb 
and also assimilation. All right, let's begin and let's flow with strength mm -hmm. and ease. Starting in the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, open the palms of the hands forward, lift to the crown of the head, press into the outer and inner edges of the feet, pull the belly in, deepen the breath. Chin parallel to the floor and really lifting through the crown of the head, feeling the elongation and the grounding happening at the same time. One more deep breath. Open the arms out, fingertips pressing away from each other, reaching away, opening the space between the collarbones and we're gonna shift the weight onto the right leg, step the left leg back and twist to the right so really focus on that midsection twist to the right and bring it back to the front opposite side twist to the left bring it back to the front relax the shoulders opposite side twist and bring it back opposite side really feel the core here awakening the midsection Last set of this particular one. Work with your breath. And inhale the hands over the head. Let's press the palms together or clasp the hands. Take the left leg back and reach over to the right. We're already focusing on the midsection, but in motion. And Virgo is a very, very mutable sign. And change, Mercury achieves harmony through conflict, just like in Aries. Change, change, and Virgos just like Gemini, are unstoppable, they're constantly moving. Mutable energy, change. A few more of those, really lengthen both sides. We're reaching over to the right, but we're trying not to collapse here, rather to lengthen and opposite side. And back to the front. Exhale the hands over the heart and over the belly. Hands on the thighs. We're gonna go for stomach vacuum to enhance that assimilation, the ingestion, midsection energy. Exhale, diving down. Forward fold. In Virgo, there is this desire to perfect the physical body, to purify, cleanse, detox, perfect the form. A lot of the nutrition gurus, yoga teachers have strong Virgo in them. Inhale, look ahead of you. Anything that has to do with health. Step it back, plank. Hold plank, pull the belly in. Spread the fingers wide open, press into the heel, squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline. Slightly extending the tailbone so that we're not arching here, unless you already 
have that alignment naturally. And really, really activating the belly. So here we're going to take a slow right side knee tuck. Step it back, left side knee tuck. Step it back, squeeze. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. left. Chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Inhale the right leg up, open the right knee, right hip, lift, step it behind, wild thing. Do one legged plank, right heel presses up. We're gonna press the right heel up 10 times. Try to level the hips as much as you can. So work with it and let's go one. Really feeling the hamstrings and the glutes involved. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. Come up, high lunge. Here we're going to take one sweeping move and bring the hands in front of the right foot. Again, level the hips, try to square them as well. Press the back heel away from you, toes down, so that everything is aligning. And we're gonna press this time the left heel up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, bend the right knee. Come up to standing with a straight back. And with the bent left knee, touch the hand to your foot and push it back two three four five six seven eight nine ten Step it back, high lunge, hands in prayer twist. Virgo is also the only sign in the zodiac that's symbolized by a female. Icon. Great, release, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, lift, drop it behind, wild thing. One legged plank. Find your alignment here and let's press up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through. High lunge. Nice, so dry breath. One sweeping move. Square the hips and let's go. One, pressing the right heel. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the left knee slightly and let's touch it up. One, two, three, really squeeze the belly. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, 
9, 10, step it back, high lunge, twist, and plank. Take a nice plank, press the heels away from you, squeeze the inner thighs, pull the belly in, and let's bring the right knee to the right elbow, left knee to the left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze, nine, and ten, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. We as souls prepare our own births, deaths, and in between. It's such exquisite mechanism. Can you imagine you have picked mother and father, picked the time in history we were to live, you picked the people you even walked by on the street. The best way to, to live life is as a soul, dancing in and out of your incarnation. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Again, feeling the hips, feeling the core, relaxing the shoulders, softening the face. From here, we're gonna take the left hand on the floor, right arm up, twisting, revolving half moon, press the back heel up. Both hands on the floor and come up to standing. Take the left hand to the left ankle and reach here. Step it back, high lunge. Drop the back heel down. Reach up and back, crescent. You can take the front heel off the floor. Great, one more twist. Looking over the shoulder. Great, here we're gonna look down and step the back foot to the front in a yogic squat, just a little hip opening action. And plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, plank. Plank tucks to the opposite, elbow, right knee, left elbow left knee right elbow try not to swing the knees and the hips try to follow a steady move four five six seven eight nine ten step the left foot through warrior one Mouth bent in the right knee, level the hips, or at least think about the hips location. Let's take the right hand to the floor, revolving half moon here. Press the back heel as high as you can, and press the left hip back. So you're lengthening the torso here. Both hands on the floor, bend the left knee slightly straight back, come up to standing, take the right hand through to the right ankle, open here. Step it back, drop the back knee down, 
You can take the front heel up and reach back, crescent. And let's twist. Pretty twist. Step it at the front. In your big squat. Hands in prayer, elbows pushing the knees apart. We're out so that we're opening the hips here. Plank. And let's walk the knees in a all force alignment, only we're gonna take the knees off the floor and squeeze the knee across, tap it down on the floor, opposite side squeeze and tap it down. The entire time I want you to squeeze everything in until you're shaking. <laughs> Once you're making this advanced two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, breathe. Let's take the left hand almost on the outside of the mat. You can adjust it. Take the left leg, uh, the right leg up, right hand to right ankle if possible. This is a balancing move here. Great. Hands on the floor. Step it through in high lunge. Come up. Hands reaching in front of you here. You're going to press your shoulders back. So we want to find that alignment of open chest. And we're going to take the right hand back and close it. Feel the movement here leading. The movement leading through the midsection. Two, chest open, shoulders down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it at the front, hands behind the head, elbows out. A mini stomach vacuum. So you inhale and as you exhale, hollow the belly, empty. And as you as you empty, we're going to twist side to side. Release and step the right leg back. Hands in front of you, inhaling, press the shoulders back. And let's open the left arm back and forward. So feel the action in the spine, feel the details, the warming up in the midsection. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Upper back is also opening. Eight, nine, ten. Step it at the front, hands behind, and we're gonna do a stomach vacuum. Not complete, just as much as you can with a few twists or crunches. As many as you can, so that could be two or four, if you can do six.
and let's take the right leg back hands on the floor step it back plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog take the right leg up step it through high lunge Here we're going to bring the forearms together, hands, arms bending, and we're going to open and close. This is from the July program that I'm shooting also. This moves are included in some of the classes. Two, the July program is called the Phenomenal World. The first class is light and the second thunderstorm. Real. Real descriptive of the class. Five, really feel the upper back here. Last one, great. From here, we're going to step at the front on the right leg, wrap the left leg around, bring the left arm form forward, right arm up, cross, wrap, lift. Sit back, soften the same upper back muscles that we were opening, twisting, warming up. And warrior three with the arms wrapping. And high lunge with the arms wrapping. Lift. Release, exhale, down plank. Chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Take a really nice, steady high lunge for I'm squeezing. Feel. Feel the alignment here open. So everything is working. Obliques, core. The upper back has the opportunity to, to just in. relax. Two, three to open. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it at the front and take the right leg around, around. Right arm forward, left arm up, cross, wrap, lift, sit. Soften the upper back, the shoulders. Breathe into the areas that you are stretching. Warrior three with the arms wrapping high lunge reach all the way back exhale plank hold plank we're going to tap the shoulders here, step your feet a little wider than hip width apart so that you're keeping that square level alignment. Try to keep, to move the hips as little as possible, steadying the core. So, close your mat and lift some energy into the forearms and let's go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and walk or jump your feet to the front. Squat straight back, come up, and we're gonna do one more vacuum. With, I can't speak during vacuums, I'll do it with you. We're gonna empty the lungs, hands behind the head, and we're just gonna move a few times side to side, two to four times. Some of you can do six maybe.
exhale, folding, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the right leg up, step it through, warrior two, leaning to the back body, feel your breath, reaching back, you can wrap the left arm back and around, straightening the lead knee, reach ahead of your triangle pose, and you can unwrap and reach over the head. Exhale down, plank and chaturanga, and up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through warrior two. This whole class we're really tuning into feeling the core in the sense of digestion, assimilation, detox even but mostly the simulation. Leaning back into the back body. Reach with your left hand back, right arm back and around. Straighten, reach ahead of you, open that right side. Triangle pose. You can reach over the head with the right arm. Exhale, both hands down, plank and hold plank. Let's walk the feet in and we're gonna take again airborne all fours. So the knees are off the floor. We're gonna be drawing circles. One in one direction, two in the same direction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Drop the knees down. One more vacuum here in um, all fours. Exhale and empty the belly. Empty the lungs, follow the belly, draw the abdominal wall towards the spine. Beautiful, and come up onto the knees. Walk the hands onto the mid back. Camel pose, look up. Aligning the hips above the knees. Open the chest. And exhale, in down dog. Let's walk the right hand on the outside or semi-outside, maybe on the line of the mat. Take the left leg up, left arm to left ankle, and lift here. Release on the ground. Let's lower the chest down, another back bend. 
towards the floor. And one more vacuum. I mean, nothing is more of a verbal than stomach vacuums. And here on the side note before we prepare, if you want to do a lot of my vacuum classes, I do have purely classes that revolve around vacuums. My postpartum series, they're good for Africa, anybody. Lots of vacuums there. And even more advanced, my core awakening program. Most of the classes in the core awakening program are obviously about the core, awakening the deep abdominal muscles, um, the entire midsection, and also a lot of vacuums there. So if you are wondering how to incorporate them, I recommend those programs or isolated classes. You can do them separately. All right, all fours, another vacuum. So keep going with it and it will get better and better. Mula Banda involved. child's pose. Coming back up onto all fours, let's take the right leg up, knee bending, take the right hand to the right leg and lift and try to square the hips here. Release, opposite side. Release, down dog. Plank. Another balancing core move. So here we're going to take the left leg across and tap it with the right hand and opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spin around, sit back onto your booty, forward fold. Hands behind you, reverse plank. Right foot inside the left upper thigh, forward fold. Reverse plank. Opposite side. You see how there is detail in this class, but also movement. Virgo is absolutely one of the <laughs> most Gemini and Virgo really are very, very either fidgety or mutable, moving, changing, fast minds, very fast minds, <sighs> sometimes too fast, <laughs> hands behind, lift. All right, right knee over the left, bring the heel in, forward fold. So hip opener here, a hamstring stretch. All right, now we're gonna bring the foot on the outside of the knee and twist one more time for that midsection, for the benefit of twists. Beautiful, reverse plank, opposite side, forward fold, first knee over the other knee, 
and really feel here all the action that's happening. One more twist. Reverse plank. Open the legs out, forward fold. And let's reach side to side just a few times. Feel the movement. Rather than the steady expression of this pose, feel as if this pose is water, ruled by water, or if we're tapping into the water element of this pose. Reaching and reaching and reaching the continuous flow. And reaching, one more set. And reach, great. And we're going to lower down, however you wanna lower down, you can lower down on your side or you can round, pull the belly in, lower down, and we're gonna do a vacuum on <laughs> in this position too. So we cover every vacuum there, or many of them. I did that in a lot of the postpartum series, in a lot of the core series. <sighs> With vacuums, you really get flat belly. And although most people think a flat belly is something visually, um, Pleasing, which Virgo is all about actually. Kind of looking healthy, lean, all of that is very Virgo-esque. But actually toning the abdominal wall has far bigger benefits than just what meets the eye. It really enhances digestion assimilation, <sighs> keeps the organs in their place as we age instead of them dropping down. So Mula Banda, and we're gonna again hollow the belly and pull, draw the abdominal wall towards the spine as we exhale. Press your elbows down, that helps as well. Great, now we're gonna reach over the head with both hands lowering the, pressing the lower back into the floor. One more vacuum. One more. Roll onto your side and let's touch the toes with the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, reach through the obliques. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Lay onto your back. Plow. And my plow is on the watermelon. Shim in the shoulders.
shoulder stand. And release supine twist, right knee in and across. Opposite side. Coming back up. From here, we're going to roll onto the belly and come onto the hands, bring the right foot forward for pigeon, transiting pigeon. So feel it, breathe into it. Level the hips. Breathe into the hips. Feel free to hold it for longer. We are not going to hold it for very long in the class, but you can always pause the video and just melt into it. <laughs> you can lean forward. Changing sides. Hold it, try to keep the right hip down so you're not leaning onto the left hip, opening the right. Try to align everything, try to feel your alignment. So with Virgo, there's a lot of thinking happening, a lot of the critical analytical mind. And sometimes the bigger picture can be missing, and which is the mer mercury side of it. A lot of thinking about the details can happen. And it's good to relax, breathe, obviously do yoga, which is a very Virgos are attracted to yoga because it's a discipline that purifies and perfects the physical so that we can relax the mind and focus also on the big picture, on the, the grand scheme of things. And something that we never think of Virgo is the nurturing, mothering element. It is the goddess, the goddess of harvest, the goddess womb that births the soul for the next six signs. So there is a deep nurturing element here. surface it looks more um, a pursuit of the mind but the undertone is really perfecting that physical form so the divine can come in. 
so that the frequencies of the physical form line up with those of the soul of the divine. And coming now, we're going to take a down dog so we can step the right foot through. Narrow stance here for intense side stretch. So we can get a little deeper here into the hamstrings. And as we pursue perfection, if we remove ourselves from the physical form and look at it as a pursuit of purity and light, we also can begin to develop that self-love that started in Leo. Because once we see ourselves as this beautiful, perfect expression of the divine, um, not necessarily in, in the form, but on a soul level, then self-love becomes a natural and an obvious thing. It's an easy thing. So it almost starts with Virgo of really criticizing the details and seeing the imperfection in everything. That is really what drives a lot of the Virgo movement to actually finding the perfection in the soul. And that's the wrap up here. The self-love because we are the divine, we are the perfection. And change sides. Square the hips, lower down. And release. Sit down, lay down, however you want to relax at the end. Relax the mind, empty. Empty the mind, roll the shoulders back and down. And just allow yourself to drift and flow in the sphere of nothingness, in the space. Of nothingness. Visualizing a sphere of light, beautiful, white or golden light in front of the third eye. Bathing your third eye, your entire face and head and body with its light and warmth. And slowly this light absorbs into your third eye. becomes a part of you and that light becomes to emanate from you into the world stay here for as long as you need to just observing that light its quality observing it drift away, allowing yourself to be the observer, to be also empty as you purely observe, as you see your own inner light. And I'll see you next week, another class. Namaste.